There's only a month to go before Mercedes-Benz's new G-Class SUV hits the showrooms, and there's one question on all the critics' lips. How does it stack up up against its key rival, the Range Rover? The G-Class, originally known as the G-Wagon, has had only a handful of changes since it first launched back in 1979. While sportier and more luxurious versions of the SUV have been created in the car's four-decade history, the G-Class has lagged behind its rivals over the last few years. All this changed at the Detroit Motor Show in January when Mercedes-Benz took the covers off an all-new version of its G-Class SUV. Despite retaining many elements of the original car's boxy design, the latest model comes equipped with high-tech features and numerous chassis improvements. These innovations have been plucked from the German carmaker's range of opulent saloon vehicles. But the G-Class SUV faces stiff competition from Britain's Range Rover, which has long been considered the best off-roader money can buy. Here's how the two compare and which will be crowned king of the luxury SUVs. Off-Road It's unlikely that those who opt for the G-Class will use the car to anything like its full-terrain conquering potential. But the SUV's diesel motor is more than up to the task of the demands of off-road driving. Mercedes has also worked hard on improving the car's handling over its predecessor, and the differences are noticeable. The G-Class is still very much a car with a high and peripatetic center of gravity, while bumps and potholes can also send jolts through to the cabin. The Range Rover may have the G-Class beat on handling and ride comfort. The Range Rover has been designed to cope with surfaces that resemble the moon, so even the worst British roads don't pose much of a problem says what car. Air suspension is standard across the Range Rover lineup, providing a mix of supple ride and body control that surprises even the most luxurious saloon car, adds the review site. What are they like inside? Though the new Mercedes off-roader's exterior looks, which hark back to the original G-Class from 1979, are endearingly retro. Auto Express describes the car's cabin as thoroughly contemporary. Buyers get the same vast cross-dash touchscreen infotainment system as the company's latest saloon and hatchback models. This includes a state-of-the-art sat NAV and digital dials to control the infotainment system. The Range Rover is hardly lacking in high-tech gadgetry either. Drivers get a three screens in the off-roader, comprising of a sat NAV screen above the center console, a climate control menu below it, and a digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. There's plenty of glam in the Range Rover too, as passengers in the rear are treated to reclining chairs, a gesture-controlled sun blind and overall top-quality materials throughout the cabin. Price? The 2021 Range Rover has a $92,000 starting price, which is well above average for a luxury large SUV. The price climbs to $131,000 for the mid-range autobiography trim, and it skyrockets to $211,000 for the long wheelbase SV autobiography model. The G-Class starts at around $132,000. Though most features are standard, a wide range of optional trim packages add everything from extra cost paint, as much as $6,500, AMG styling bits, massaging seats, softer leather, and more can easily add $20,000 to that. Recommendations go out the window when we're looking at vehicles like the G-Class, so plan to spend some time with your local dealer to select the SUV that best suits your taste and needs. The Verdict For a select few, there is nothing quite like the G-Wagon says Auto Express. Thankfully, the new car in G350D trim gives drivers bags of old-school appeal, matched to decent performance along with reasonable efficiency. While the G-Class's retro charm cannot be matched by its rival, the Range Rover's lavish interior and smooth ride quality suggests it stays at the top of the luxury SUV pile. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.